Okay, here I'm going to show how we'd recognize revenue and expenses on our income statement using accrual-based accounting. And we'll be deriving these revenues either through a liabilities or an asset account here on the balance sheet, and the same for our expenses. We'll be deriving those either through a liabilities or an asset account on our balance sheet. So I'll go through uh, some simple examples here for both our revenue and our expenses. Okay, let's look at how we'd use an accrual accounting here to recognize revenue on our income statement. We can either do it through a liabilities account here on our balance sheet or through an asset account here on our balance sheet. So let's look at our liabilities account first. That would be our unearned revenue account or a deferred revenue. Now this is where we receive uh, some payment in advance of doing some work. So at the time that we receive this payment, we would credit or increase our unearned revenue account and then we debit or increase our cash account. And then when we actually do the work or provide the service here, then we debit or decrease our unearned revenue account and then we credit or increase our revenue account. This is where we actually are allocating this revenue and through an accrual basis here. So uh, we don't uh, allocate this revenue until after we receive this cash. That's why they would we would consider it a liabilities. Now if we look at our asset account here, that would be our accounts receivable. This is where we earn some revenue in advance of receiving payment. So we've provided something to our customer here. So at that time we would actually uh, debit our accounts receivable here and then we'd immediately recognize it here in our income state where we'd credit or increase our revenue account. Now um, at later when we actually receive payment from our customer we'd credit or reduce our accounts receivable here and then we'd recognize our, it is, uh, the payment here as cash or debit or increase our cash account. So we allocated this revenue when it was earned and that is uh, when we provided that service. So at that time we recognized it here on our income statement. Okay, let's look at uh, how we'd use the accrual accounting here to recognize expense on our income statement. And we can either do that through a liabilities account here on the balance sheet or an asset account here on the balance sheet. And looking at our liabilities account, this would be our accounts payable or our accrued expense. And this is where we incur an expense or we purchase something here on credit prior to making a payment for that expense. So at the time that we incur this expense, we'd credit or increase our accounts payable and then we debit or increase our expense account here on the income statement. And that's where we're allocating this expense when it was incurred, right at the time that we incurred this expense or purchased something here on credit. And then when we make a payment on this accounts payable, we'd debit or decrease our accounts payable, and then we'd credit or reduce our cash for the amount of that payment. Now, if we look at as an asset here on the balance sheet, that would be our inventory or our prepaid expense or a deferred expense. Now, this is where we purchase something in, va in advance of using it. So, in this case, let's look at here where we would, we would debit our inventory or increase our inventory account for that purchase, and then we'd credit or reduce our cash for the amount of that purchase. And then when we actually use this inventory, we would credit or reduce our inventory account here, and then we debit or increase our expense account here on the income statement. So this is how we're allocating this expense when it was incurred. And it was incurred after we purchased it. So at that time, we would, again, reduce our inventory account and then recognize it here as an expense on the income statement. So in this case, we paid something for something in advance of actually using it. Okay, to summarize, using an accrual accounting, we have four basic account types here, either as assets or liabilities on the balance sheet. So when we derived our revenue, it came from either an unearned revenue or a deferred revenue, which is a liability on the balance sheet, or it came from our accounts receivable, which is an accrued revenue or an asset on the balance sheet. Now our expenses here were derived either from accounts payable or an accrued expense, which is a liability on the balance sheet, or from our inventory or prepaid expense, which is a deferred expense, which is an asset here on our balance sheet.